What's up boys and girls, welcome back to Expression Culture. Today I'm going to be fitting a RB1 intake manifold from a GE Fit RS to this lovely CRZ. Not that one, because that's mine obviously and that's already got one. Please excuse the Royal Mail crunching gears there. Right, let's have a quick look around the car and we'll show you what we're doing. Right, so here we are. This is the CRZ in question. We're going to be replacing the OEM intake manifold. And I think we're also going to be changing this uh, standard air box for a blitz into short ram intake as well. So we're going to crack on. Hopefully we don't run into any problems because these can be a, an absolute pig. But I've got a solution for that. Let's get going. Right, first things first is we're going to remove the IMA cover. That's nice and simple. I should even put gloves on yet. Off it comes. You can keep that as a souvenir. So you're going to need one of these, you might not be able to see it, as a 5.5mm socket. Honda generally, generally use these on modern Hondas, just on the intake for the throttle. So here. So you just want to loosen that one off. You can use a screwdriver but you're likely to round it off if it's never been off. Just make sure that's nice and loose. Okay, so now we need to remove all the harness, so that we've got push clips here, there, there, and then we want to disconnect it from the airflow meter and the map sensor. Okay, so now that I've removed the wiring harness from here, there's one connector there as well, I forgot you have to remove. A um, couple of pop clips here uh, for this uh, intake pipe. There's a Jubilee clip down here, which is a 10mm, it's easier than a screwdriver. One 10mm here. One 10 mil here. I can't remember if there's one at the back, but I'm sure if there is, I'll find it. This needs compressing. This intake pipe here for the cooling system and the crankcase ventilation system will have to be pulled out of the airbox. We can then bring the airbox out of the way. I'm probably going to take this bracket off. I don't know if I need to yet um, because we're going to try and protect fitting these blitz intake as well. So, as well as removing this to gain access to the throttle body and the intake manifold. Um, I'm obviously going to tr uh, try and make time to uh, fit the blitz system as well. Okay, so the, that's the airbox out of the way now. Uh, well, I've removed the bracket that sits here as well, it's connected into here. You will need to remove that because otherwise it's going to damage the new um, intake manifold. There is not a fitting for it, it would normally bolt there. So next up I am going to remove uh, the throttle body, you don't need to disconnect any hoses, you only need to sort of drop it down out of the way. Once that's out of the way, uh, there's a couple of uh, bolts behind it, 10mm bolts, I won't be able to show you that because they're so obscure. Um, on the first time I ever did one of these, I actually removed all this and went down below. I still may need to, to get this uh, vacuum pipe off, which I'm hoping I won't need to, because um, they're a pain in the ass. So, here we go. I forgot to mention, these four bolts here I want remove, you need to remove to get the throttle body out, they are a 12 mil. Right, with the throttle body now removed from the intake manifold, I'm going to tackle this little map sensor. What you need is one of these bolt biters really, these are by Irwin, this particular one is a 5 16th, yes, obviously American. Pop that on there. Give her a couple of love taps. Hopefully, she will come undone. Doesn't feel like it's gonna. Might have got the wrong size actually. Out. Yeah, it seems the right size. Got a better idea. Something loose. Right. Now with the map sensor removed, as you can see here, and saving this young man about £300 in parts, I'm going to replace the sensor, which is there. We're now going to take off the five 
bolts here, these are 12, that join the inlet manifold to the EGR passage. There is another one here, which I can't remember if it's 10 or 12. And then at the rear, there's these two annoying ones, which I probably won't be able to get to show you on camera. And then there's one um, vacuum pipe, which is connected here. That is a typical press clip like this. Once that's done, that will have that will be all out of the way. We can put the new in that manifold on, which would just be a reverse of what we've done. Uh, and then we can start putting the blitz system together. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what it looks like when you remove the inlet manifold of an L series engine. So it's the same style as the GE Jazz. Wow, look at that. What's going on there? Well, there's no corrosion, is it? Looks like a of glue or something. Tell yeah, so we're now going to transfer all the gaskets over from the original one to this one because they generally don't um, require replacing because this is a cold component. Uh, so yeah, good time to do spark plugs obviously, but yeah, we're going to crack on, get the inlet manifold fitted and then continue on to the blitz. Sus or whatever it's, what's it called? The Sus Power Core Type LM. Yeah, very it's Japanese, that's such a way of naming things. Very JDM. <laughs> right, catching the bit. Right, so here is a little important lesson for all you CRZ guys. You need to make sure this has RB1 stamped on it. And make sure it's, this is genuine. I'm not sure whether they actually stick the, the Honda part number on this. Here you go. Oh no, it's not. Uh, I don't know if they actually do. Da -da -da -da. They probably do somewhere. Anyway, just make sure this is a, a genuine RB1 intake, not an RBO, because a lot of people try to fool um, other non-educated, I guess, uh, owners into buying these. From they're only they're a JDM part only. They're only available on the Fit RS. So make sure you get the right one, because there is a massive difference. I want to show you these ones that were hard to get to. So this is the back of the original manifold. That's the vacuum pipe you need to take off, clip on the top there, and two 10 mils here. They're a bugger to get to, but once you've got the in throttle body off, they're not too bad. This is all surplus now, so you won't need that. But yeah, just make sure they've got the proper Honda stamps on them. The, um, the JDM Fit one isn't made by Ryko. Maybe made by Ken's eye, I think it is. Right, so we've just fitted the, the pipe back on because it's easier to do it once you take all the mounts forward. You can bring that forward there and you can go from the top. So put this all back together and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all assembled. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is an RB1 intake manifold from a, a JDM Fit RS. Ta -da! That's all fitted. Obviously, the airbox is missing because we're not fitting the original airbox. Uh, the young gentleman has decided to fit, uh, wants fitted a blitz uh, intake. So we're going to give that a go now. Catch you in a bit. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I think it's just all the heat cycles has just made it really fragile. Crap. There we go. No more cane then. We got them, boys. Right. There we go, an RB1 um, intake manifold fitted to this lovely CRZ, as well as the Blitz, what's it called again? The Sus Power Core Type LM. You heard the man. <laughs> so that's all fitted, we've just ran it for about 15 minutes, uh, varying the revs, just to make sure that there's no vacuum leaks or engine management lights. So that's all good, all awesome. Let's start it up, let's have a listen to it. Give it some black. So there you have it boys and girls, that's what a, uh, whatever he called it again sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. 
So having uh, come out here today, uh, I come from Basingstoke, so there was a little bit of a drive to see Gareth for the first time, get the RB1 manifold and the Blitz Soft Power LM Corsair, whatever it is. It's, <laughs> it's a really silly name. Japanese have such funny names for things. I just thought I'd like to compile a few thoughts together. Um, and first things first, I'd like to. I'd like to really put a big thanks to Gareth for spending some time to get this fitted. I, it was very last minute. Um, it was only yesterday that I sort of remembered to actually send send him a message. So I do want to I do want to say a very big thank you for spending <laughs> a bit of time with me to get this fitted. Thanks for, um, thanks for letting me help out where I could as well because I had no fucking idea where I was where I was, <laughs> where, where I was going with this. But yeah. it turns out to actually not be as difficult a process as I was expecting it to be. I just no. Once you know what you're doing, and you've got the right tools. It's a fairly simple thing. Honda are like Lego. <laughs> They're very really simple to work on, and that's why I love them so much. Yeah, I mean, evidently this thing's showing it to me already, and I've had this car two years and never really looked back. I've loved every mi every minute of having it, and I get to enjoy the drive home. Yeah, it's going to be a big difference, I should think, <laughs> especially in terms of uh, induction noise. <laughs> That's going to be the fun bit, I think. Yeah, just do <laughs> it. It'd be quite interesting to see, because um, even when I fitted the K&N on mine, if you listen closely enough, you can hear a very, very faint VTEC crossover right at the top. I wonder whether that'll be evident on this with a big old open cone. <laughs> well, that'll be something I get to find out on my way home. So, uh, that's two hour drive, so. Well might let the sun set a little bit more before I go because right now, it's, cause trying to drive right now is going to be a pain in the arse. Should be alright. Although the sun might be behind me. Be yeah, fair. once you get onto the 55 I think the sun will be behind you. Ah, oh, should be alright then. So. Alright, so we're just going to end this video. We're going to have a little quick uh, drive around the block, just make sure everything's alright, but I'm sure it will be fine because we've done a little bit of testing already. But just to see what he thinks. And uh, then I'll end this video. That's an ambulance, isn't it? That's alright. It's not coming around the side of the road. boys and girls there we have it a rb1 intake manifold fitted up to that lovely crz there and a blitz whatever he called it intake sus or whatever it is it's just a short ram intake uh yeah so hope you enjoyed that hope that's a bit of information for anyone that wants to fit one of these themselves i know it's a very popular mod for the crz uh and looking on the internet there's only one really one video on it uh which is off my, my friend track ready Oh, Zach, I haven't seen you for ages, man. Make some more videos. Um, but yeah, it's not the most informal video of like sort of how to fit it. Um, and because uh, obviously you're fitting another part from another car, although it's similar, um, there's no real how to's how to do it. Uh, I had to learn myself. Obviously, I know how to take the stock inlet manifolds off the CRZ from when I do, so do valve clearances. But to actually, there's a few, like I said, there's a few little bits you've got to change. Um, just to adapt to make the RB1 fit correctly. Please like, share, subscribe for more Honda content, and I'll see you boys and girls in the next video. That'll be very soon. Bye bye. Correct, Boris is an absolute fucking idiot. I, I thought, when he first came into power, I was like, yes, finally someone who's gonna open his mouth and not be sorry about it, but he's just done everything else wrong. <laughs>